No, that's great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Happy solstice, which is tomorrow, but it's um, certainly letting us know. I have my flame shirt on. I teach in this shirt at the festivals. It's always like, that's how, and that's how we feel. I think we should um, do some breathing and then stand up and then we can sit down so that uh, we don't like get all crazy. You all don't seem to have the same problem that we have, but um, it's really actually not a bad morning at all, is it? Good. And do you know there's bug spray over there for those of you that need it? You have bugs? <laughs> no? <laughs> Doing this morning meditation. <laughs> Easy. <clears throat> Fold your fingertips in onto the pads or the calluses of your palms, depending if you're chopping wood and carrying water. Thumbs are up like the antenna. Shoulders are down. Squeeze your wings together a little bit so that the back Help support the cantilevered arms and exhale through the nose. Through the nose, popping. Good. Keep lifting the chest, stretching the arms. Concentrating through the nose, Barbara, don't get too distracted by the white fluffy dog. I don't know if there is one, but. <laughs> Drop the shoulders, make sure you don't get tired through the upper shoulders. You wanna really hold that side body and let that belly button snap to the backbone. Breathe, 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 breathe. Gonna stay about 20 more seconds. Organize the self, connect in, open the palms, thumbs are up like antenna, lots of activity in the navel point. X, 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 in the nose, Bubba. And X, 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 X. Inhale, arms up and overhead, look up. Thumbs connect. Inhale a little bit more. Contract the gentle, stretch the side body, swallow and absorb. Breathe in through the mouth, sip it in through the mouth. Hold the breath, stretch, contract, swallow, absorb. Chin up, arms long, absorb, swallow. No, don't let that breath out. Suck it back in. Breathe in again through the mouth. Hold the breath. Contract the gentle. Squeeze. Swallow. Thumbs touch. Last time. Ha. Breathe. Hold the breath. Stretch. Swallow. Contract. And easy. Slide the hands on down the heart line. Pause at the breastplate. Invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath and let the hands drop onto your thighs, eyes closed, tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth. Relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine, sit easy. Sit easy. Scan the body, root in, ground in, extend and receive, be smooth. Wow, it's such a blessing. Stretch the arms out, up and overhead. Slide the hands on down the heart line. Let's roll on over onto all fours and cat and cow. Don't get nervous. Hi, Mr. Liz Perlman. <laughs> Welcome. 
Exhale. I saw him. <laughs> Inhale, swing up. Oh. Articulate your tailbone. Press on your hands. Round the back. Open up the chest. Slide the ribs away from your pubic bone. Shoulders back. Ah, that's good. And then exhale. <laughs> ah, good. More movement in the lower back. Swing the tail up. Ah, look up. Motorcycle. Ah, once more. <clears throat> Easy. And come back and sit down on your heels. Shake out your hands. Inhale the arms out, up and overhead. And exhale the right hand off the side of your body, not behind, but keep it to the front and slide softly. And if you need to sit, can I see you, Bob? Can you see me okay? Good, let the hand slide out, bend the elbow. Look down at your shoulder and see if that shoulder is jamming into your jawbone. If it is, relax the elbow, bend the elbow, stretch the arm, loosen the head up. Breathe into the left rib cage, float on up, inhale, lift up, look up, exhale off the side of the hip, off the side of the thigh, slide on out. Now you can bend this left elbow so you make more work in the body. Oh, my little sushi thing. Is it there? I have a feeling it's gonna end up with. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird? Right, oh, thank God. <laughs> Stretching from the back. Watch that elbow. Look down at the elbow. If your chin jams into that ball and socket, move the move the elbow soft. Stretch the fingers, baby. And then <laughs> easy. Inhale into the right arm. Up overhead. And exhale. Off we go. Left hand on the side of the thigh, right hand near the tailbone. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift the chest. Dig your fingertips in. Yeah, don't do anything that hurts. <laughs> it's all that gardening. Breathing. Spiraling the upper torso, pulling the wings together, keeping the chest lifted. Try not to grit your teeth, it's not that bad. Flatten the belly, let the arms reach around up and overhead and exhale off to the other side. You can use that right arm on the outside of the thigh and the left hand scooting around towards your tailbone. See if you can spin that upper torso, keep the chin parallel to the earth so that that throat remains soft and the breath moves easily through you. Could you go and sit on your pillow, Andrew? <sighs> breathing, breathing. Don't space out. It's a big opportunity. Flatten the belly. The arms reach out, up and overhead. Spiral. Exhale, humbly sliding down the heart line, dedicating this breath and this practice to your mind and to your sweet, most radiant, kind and compassionate, curious and creative, willing and sensitive soul. <laughs> Easy, slide the hands on down, come forward onto all fours, shake out your feet, shake them out, really sh wag your feet. Let your feet just wag, you wag your tail, but wag your feet and squeeze your toes. Rotate the feet on the ankles. Good job. And then easy, curl the toes and sit back on your heels. Now you can always stick your brick, <laughs> stick the brick, or you can put this between the knees. Do you want my pillow? 
come up on all knees, or what's it called? Curl your toes. Reach the arms up and overhead. Feet are spread apart. You can always put the brick between your feet if you wish to. Look up. You're gonna take your right hand to your right heel and look at it down there, just your fingertips, if that's as far as you can get. And then let your left hand go on your chest. Scoop your pubic bone forward, lift the chest, lift the chin, thrust your pelvis forward and stretch the top of your thighs, yes or no? Are you breathing? Lift that left elbow slightly to get some space. That's beautiful. Ah. And easy. Inhale. Arms come up and overhead. Lift up. Slide down the heart line. Take your hands to your front thighs where the crease is. The thighs go to the pelvis. Flip your tailbone back. Arc your chest forward. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Get sassy. Now, flip the tail down, flatten the thighs right into your hands so there's no crease. Roll the shoulders, lift the chest, arms reach out up and overhead. Left hand comes down, keep that flat thigh. Left hand comes down to the heels and the right hand goes on the heart. Roll back a little bit, Will, and lift and look up. Keep thrusting. Good. Get that right elbow up a little bit, Barb. That a girl. Look up at the sky. Look for birds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You know, you invent your daydream. You invent your prayer. You stretch and open. Feel the strength, the length. And then easy. Inhale and lift the arms up and overhead. And depending how you are, hands can come around. The palms go on the lower back. So your fingers are right on that, the cross, right on your little rump. If you're feeling dramatic, you can go a little deeper. Roll the shoulders, pull the elbows together, keep flat, push the pubic bone forward and lift the chest up. And you can hinge back slightly or you can drop your hands to your heels and extra thrust your chest and your pelvis forward. Good, excellent. Lift, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Stretch, open. Careful, don't hurt yourself, Mr. Perlman. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. Oh wow, there's a whole crew there. Don't give up. And then easy, inhale, lift your head up. Sit down on your heels. Take your hands, grab your heels. Hold on, they're like doorknobs, right? Crown of the head to the knees, nose between the feet. All right, Kevin, the whole crew. And down you go. Crown of the head to the ground, nose to the knees. Grab onto the heels and lift your bottom up towards the sky. And go, oh, that feels so good. Stretch, stretch out that lower back. Hold on to the heels, lift the bottom. Two more breaths, tuck the nose in, stretch out the back. And easy, lower the bottom down and go ahead and inhale the arms up and overhead, rise up onto your knees, flatten your feet, slide down, drop easy, wag your tail, wag your feet, turn your body around. So easy, since we're here, and it's not too bad. I don't know about the rest of you up in all these different areas, but nobody's like us. 
<laughs> so since it's not like overly horrifying right now, go ahead and lay your hands down. Look at the thumb and the forefinger. And easy, roll your elbows, bring them in towards each other. Lift your buns up slightly and lean on your thighs so you're in a half down dog with a crouch. Let your head go. And then raise your heels and your bottom to the sky. Squeeze your elbows together and pedal your heels, letting your chest bounce towards your thighs, pulse towards your thighs. Breathe in, use your fingertips. Breathe. Now lift both heels nice and high. Both heels nice and high. Push your chest towards your thighs. Strong arms. Pull the elbows together and drop both thighs. I mean, drop both heels. <laughs> now hinge into plank. Hinge into plank. Bosoms go over the thumbs, belly to the backbone. Arms are strong. Breathing in, breathing out. That's good, Barbara. Drop your hips just a little bit. What? Talk to that thing. Breathe in, breathe out. Press down in your armpits a little more, Jerry. That's it. Belly against the backbone. Heels stretch away from you. Lift up the left foot. Lift up the right foot. Lift up the left hand. Lift up the right hand. Just so you organize yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. Five more breaths. One. Ha! Dos, tres, breathe. <laughs> Robert's going for glory. <laughs> and yes, drop your knees down, drop your chest down. Buns up, elbows in, buns up, elbows up, elbows up, chin down, elbows in. Go, Barb. Slide the legs back and softly into Sphinx. Good, I lose some of you in the vision. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulders are down and back. You tell Sean, thanks Sean. Slide your heart forward. Stretch out your belly. So the heart is pulling away from your pubic bone and your toes are reaching way far behind you. Your little toe is on the ground. Look over your shoulder, see if you can see your ears. Say hi to the Weimaraner. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Look to the other side, I think. Breathing, come back into the center. Pleasant. Roll on down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale to all fours. Wag your tail again. Make sure you stay, stay liquid, stay fluid, stay easy, spacious. Left leg back behind you. Fingertips on the ground. Left leg back behind you on the ground. Sorry. Press the, to curl the toes and press the calf. Open up the calf. The Achilles. There they go. And pull those inner elbows towards each other so this upper chest gets involved. Now lift the leg easy. Pull it towards your nose. Look at it. Grasp. Pull it around back behind you. Put it on the ground and look over your right shoulder. Oh, how good does this feel? Feels great. You can do this by yourselves. Just get all tangled up. Now lift the leg, bring it around easy, back to offside your left hip. Roll the foot down. Oh, careful of the fireplace. <laughs> and easy, roll on up. Ah. Oh. That a girl. Breathing. That's good. Hi, Kevin. All in blue. There you go. Take a photo. And the hand comes down underneath the shoulder. Lift the leg up. 
and swing around to the back. Right arm floats out in front of you. Thrill seek if you wish. The right arm is by your ear. You can fold the back ankle in and grab the foot, lift the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Strong arm on the ground. Excellent. Breathing. Legs, turn your fingers like a quarter of an inch to the left. That's good. That's no more than that. Use your thumb. Use your forefinger. Release without collapsing. Lower down. Wag the tail. Sit back in child's pose. Big toes touch. Bottom on the heels. Sink and surrender down to the earth. If you need to stack your fists under your forehead, you can. Otherwise, relax your belly. Relax your inner thighs, bow down. Let the sweet breeze blow on your sweaty skin. That's why we sweat, so that the breeze can cool us down. Bow down and circulate that energy that nestles at the base of your spine. You know how we like to honor how the sun and the moon move through. We're over half moon. We're coming to solstice, the longest day of light. Breathing, relax your belly. Just say thank you. Thank you. And easy. Dig your fingertips in, lift up your wrists, shimmy your shoulders and your bosoms and loosen it up. Lay the hands down, hinge up to all fours, pull the knees together, curl the toes, engage your extremities. So the forefinger and the thumb are strong on the earth and the elbow creases, which are so strange for everybody. Wiggle your own elbow creases and look at them and then get them so they face each other, the creases, and then squeeze in and slide your wing bones down your back. Slide your wing bones down the back, press down in your armpits, belly to the backbone, good. Stretch out the right leg on the ground, toes are curled under, press on the heel of your hands, open up the calf and the Achilles, good job. You feel it? Oh, good. What a cool idea, Kevin, I'm so proud of you. You should do this more often. He's holding class. He's got four people out on the deck dreaming of oysters. Now hinge forward onto your hands. Let that right leg float up of its own accord. Oh, and the dogs join them now. Breathing. And then pull that right leg offside your hip. And then swing it all the way around over and look over your left shoulder. Ah, oh, lift your chest. Let the leg go on the ground. Good, and twist your body. Spiral your body. Oh, you look all tangled up. <laughs> and then easy, bring the leg up and back around offside the right hip. Anchor with the outside of the foot and let the right arm float up to the sky. Ah, open and close your mouth, breathe deep, stack your shoulders. Ah. Wow, what a great view. And then lower the right arm down underneath the right shoulder, lift up the leg, swing it back behind you. Find yourself organized, you know, reorganize self. Don't let the hands turn in too much. Third finger to the front of the mat, thumbs reaching towards each other. 
Easy. Left arm stretches out and floats around and grabs that ankle. That's good. Good. Kick that foot back. Lift the thigh. Breathing. Head up. Chest up. Hold on, dear. <laughs> and release without collapsing. Lower down. And easy. Wag your tail. Pull your knees together and sit back on your heels. Get your stomach out of the way. Watch your arms forward. Drop your head down. You can fold your arms in if you wish. You can fold your arms, palms together over your head. Remembering that you are not only a giver, but you're a receiver. Set that antenna. Let the breath be strong and easy. Now easy, lift the head, drop the hands, dig the fingertips in, keep your bottom on your heels and your arms long out in front of you, lift up uh, the palms of the hands so you're in spider fingers. Keep the bottom glued to your heels and march off to your right side. Stretching, keep down low a little bit, stretching through that left arm. Feel it lengthening the shoulder, yes or no? Sit heavy in the left rump. Breathe. Lift up the palm. Keep the spider fingers dug in. That's it. And then Mitchy march off to the left. Come along, oysters. <laughs> Let that right arm be long, Robert. Stretch it out. Sit back, open up that long line, that awareness between your little right finger, your outer shoulder, your right hip, and your butt bone. Breathe in, breathe out. And Mitchie march back into the center, easy. Rise up onto all fours. Step both feet back into plank pose. Drop down to half plank, 10 counts. Don't get anxious, just get into it. Get organized, press on the earth, pull your belly, squeeze your buns, smile. Breathing one, breathing two. <laughs> it's the old jog. You can find a tree. That's what I said. <laughs> Six, breathing. Seven, squeeze your buns, children. Eight, nine, ten, and easy. Lay on down. Let your heels go out. Cross your arms underneath your head. Turn your cheek to one side. Big breath, soft. Surrender, relax. What happened to you, Robert? Oh, there you are. Oh, hi, Marnie. I lost you. Oh, hi, Kira. Cross your arms. That's not Kira. Turn your head the other way. And just again, notice what it is. Find your connection with the earth. Find your connection with the breath, the light, the surrender, the support. And easy. Go ahead and squeeze the legs together. Come back into the center. Lift up into Sphinx. And then lower down. Let the right arm cross in front of you. So it's at 90 degree angles across the front of your mat. You okay? Sunshine. Fold that left leg in. 
Don't look so serious. Take that left arm around and grab your ankle. Push your pubic bone down and try and pull the heel towards your bottom. Now you can take the top of the foot and put the thumb in the arch. Stay, roll towards the ground a little bit, Robert. And massage the soft ball of your foot. Kidneys are right up there. Pull that heel in, lift the chest, stretch the thigh, breathe in, breathe out. Grab it, Barbara, you got it. It's hard to laugh like this. And then release and easy. Bring the other arm around. Good, press on the elbows, get it nice so that the chest is up. Take that right foot in. See if you can get the thumb right in the middle of the soft spot of the foot. Give yourself poco masaje. Should be soft. You stand on your feet all the time. Use that bony little thumb. Stick it in there. And then easy. Try and pull that heel towards thigh down. Good, lucky you. Breathing and easy release. Bring both arms by uh, in front of you. Open the legs a little bit further apart. Take the arms back there. See if you can grab both ankles. You can drop the head, drop the pubic bone. That's all you need to do. Grab the ankles. Roll. That's it, Go. oh, you're almost there. Grab the ankles, push the pubic bone down. Oh, you're so close. Uh, oh, breathe, lift your chest up, breathe. Three breaths, one, two, three. And release down and easy. Good job. Bring the hands out in front of you. Press down on your, press down and sit your heels back on your, bottom back on your heels. Jesus, hinge back into child's pose, but keep the arms stretched way out in front of you. Keep the arms way out in front of you. Oh. Arms are long out in front of you. Relax your head down there. Mosey around in the interior landscape. Yourself be easy, soft. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yum. Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. I have one of those. <laughs> Hang in there. Send your prayers. <laughs> you think? Mm -hmm. All right. uh, <laughs> you're sitting in the car and driving two days. <laughs> oh, there's always something. Easy. Child's pose, the default position. The place where you go to. What is this? I, I, I got you now. <sighs> Thank <sighs> you.
Easy. Three more breaths. It's getting warm. And easy, come up onto all fours, wag your tail, roll your hips around, easy, roll the hips around, swing around, and then swing the other way. Huh? And then easy, cross your ankles and sit back. Take a sip of water, those of you in the wild outdoors or indoors. Hi, Rusty. <laughs> Breathing. You guys okay? Oh, what happened to the big gang at the river? Easy. Sitting. <sighs> Exhale. Let's spend a minute just with a cooling breath. Something you can take with you. I can't ever do it. So if you have the kind of tongue that rolls like a taco, yeah, like a taco, then go for it. If you can make your tongue like a taco, if you can't, then you're gonna... <laughs> so nasty. Then you're gonna breathe in like you were sucking on a straw. So it's a cooling breath. It's great for this time of year. Sit easy and just breathe in for three counts. Sucking on a straw and exhale through the mouth. I'm sorry, breathe in through the mouth, through the taco, through the straw. Breathe out through the nose. Hot air out the nose. Cool air in through the straw. Relax the shoulders. Exhale through the nose. Breathe in through the taco. Breathe out through the nose. So breathe in through the taco. Breathe out through the nose. Breathe in through the taco. Breathe the cool breath. Feel it go all the way down the back of your throat. Breathe out through the nose. Cooling the inside of the body. Breathe in. Exhaling through the nose. Spend about 15 more seconds. Just breathing, noticing, watching, organizing, coordinating. You can always shift the pattern when you're on your own. You can shift and breathe in for three counts and out for four or breathe in for five and out for six once more. Bring the arms out, up and overhead. Exhale humbly, slide down the heart line. Easy. Take the legs, fold them in, stretch the legs out, rub the knees. The cooling breath, especially if you find yourself stuck waiting somewhere in a car, bored. Try the cooling breath. Pull the buns back behind you, just three times. Inhale, lift up, exhale out over the legs. Slide on in and lift up and exhale out. Inhale, lift up, exhale out. Inhale, lift up, hold it up. Let's take your hands off side, open the legs, jump up into the table and shake everything out. 
leg to the sky, move it around, leg to the other sky, oh no, the other leg to the sky. <laughs> and lift your head and drop on down. And easy, I want to twist with you today. So we're gonna take the right leg out and the left leg on top. Sit on your blanket. See if you can pull that thigh close to you, lift your ribs towards your left thigh and drop your shoulders. Push through the right heel. You might want to turn that foot a little more this way, your left foot. Yeah. Just because it seems it's hard on the outside of the knee. Pull it in easy, nice long spine. Sit in the left bottom. Long in the neck. Want sit on your brick, lift your left arm up, look up and arc around behind you, go ahead. Easy, inhale the arm back up, hold on to the leg, pull it close in, rolling the shoulder, reaching through the left fingers, lift up, this time you leave it down there on the ground, roll the shoulder, slide the fingers towards the tailbone, and then the variety of how you are able, you can take your outer upper elbow to the outside of the thigh, you can hug that thigh close to your ribs, elongate and lengthen the spine and look over your left shoulder. Hug the outside of that leg so the thigh is straight to the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hug that leg in, that left leg. Good job. You can always point the forefinger and the thumb together. Reach, look towards your bed, Robert. Relaxing the shoulders, other side. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, slide that hand a little closer to your tailbone, Kevin. Good. Two more breaths. Just spinning the body, releasing where you have conflict inside. <laughs> smiling <laughs> and then easy bring the arm around hug the leg and take the other side take the right hand back behind you this time you can take that left arm inside the thigh down to your calf inside the thigh there you go and push and squeeze that's good that's good Lift the chest, squeeze the wings, relax the shoulders, sit heavy in the butt. Uh-huh, get both butt bones down, breathing. Flat belly, ah, it's beautiful. Arms gonna float up, hug that thigh together, take the outside of the thigh, hands behind the thigh, stretch the leg, Work it on now. <laughs> and lower it on down. Oh my God, it's longer than the other one. <laughs> That's a good thing that you can. Hi. You didn't get the email. You didn't get the email. You didn't get the. Oh, oh well. Oh, I'm always the one left out. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you didn't sign up for the list. Good morning. Hey. Bring the leg in, go easy. Yeah. You look good. Cross the leg. What happened to those other people with the oysters up there? There's a bunch of people on the oysters. Cross the leg. Get the skin of your buns back behind you so you really feel not to insinuate you have extra skin on your bottom, but <laughs> just in case it gets pinched, pull it back, sit strong, tuck that thigh in, roll the shoulders, push through the left leg, the left heel, smile. You can get that foot on the ground. It's part of the, the anchoring. 
Right arm's gonna stretch out, follow the gaze, lift it up, arc off to the back, take a breath. And then breathe that right arm back up and hug the leg in. And this time we go, reach out from your shoulder, lift up, arc back, slide the fingers towards the tailbone and adjust the front arm. You can keep hugging that knee into the chest. You can take the elbow to the outside and look over the right shoulder. Roll that shoulder back, babe. Push through the foot. Keep, don't forget your feet are part of the thing. Cramping, lower diaphragm, sit like this. Breathing. Good, hug that thigh in there, Robert Gomer. Relax your face, everybody. And then easy, anchor yourself, reach that right arm up, hug the left leg, the right leg in, reach the left arm and twist again. Now you can take that right arm and slide it inside the thigh to the ankle, inside. Roll the shoulders, lift the chest. Use that elbow against your calf like a lever or a lever. Breathe in, breathe out. See how much that thoracic spine can spin. Breathing. Exhaling, bringing that left arm up. Hug the leg in, grab the ankle if you can, or grab the thigh, lift the leg up. Oh, I hear cracking already, good morning. Lift up. Maybe we should do it a couple of times. Feels good, yeah. And lower it down, pull the buns behind you, lift the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. You can always rock a little bit, relax those shoulders, lift your chin off the notch. Keep the throat open and soft. Get you on the email list. <laughs> you did read it. And easy, walk your hands on back. Scoot your hips forward and roll down onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Ah. And take your hands on your kneecaps and roll the knees around. Massaging, relaxing enjoying, engaging with the mobility and the ease and how grateful you are to be resting on the earth. Rock the knees a little bit side to side and rock your hips side to side. And then flip the feet up into happy baby. Hold the outside of the feet. Get your kneecaps into your armpits. Feel the back of your skull on the ground your shoulder blades on the ground and your tailbone on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Try and get the tailbone down. Good, rock a little bit side to side. Bend your knees a little more, Barb. That's good. And then easy, go ahead and open your hands on the inside of the thighs and open the legs out in a big Y how, what, when, where, honey, I'm home. You can put the hands on the inside calves or on your thighs, point your toes towards the ground, rotate the legs so the toes are towards the ground. I sent you a special email. You can go sit next to him. Roll the feet on the ankles. 
I sent you a, a special email. And roll the feet the other way. They just lay down and move your body around. That's good. Now, that person's scared that just arrived from Oyster Bay. Now put the hands on the outside of the thighs and squeeze the legs together up to the sky, tailbone down, heels to the sky. And then bend the knees, lower the knees down and the feet down. Take your left foot over your right thigh. Inhale the arms overhead. Floating long, feel how the back of your hands rest on the grass. Your toes are pointed towards the heavens. You're expanding and exaggerating your breath, your inhale and your exhale, massaging the organs with the active action of your rib cage. And as you exhale, Belly button to the backbone. Lift the fingers to the sky. Let your gaze follow your fingertips. Thread the needle, left hand through the triangle, right hand to the thigh. Tuck both knees towards your chest and then lay your head down. Try and put some action in your feet. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful. <laughs> Moaning and groaning into that area of the body that has resistance. Try not to have a like orgasmic arc in your chest. Try and tuck the chin and press on the back of the skull. And now straighten up that right leg to the sky. Good job. Roll the foot around on the ankle, full range of motion, tracing the face of the analog clock. Very nice, Perlman's. And reverse. And then easy, just because. Take both hands, release, lift your head, slide both hands through the triangle, wrap your elbows around your shin bone, lower the right leg, Take the right hand and grab your heel and press the heel up to the sky. See if you can't get that foot behind your head. That's good. You can use your left elbow on the inside of your thigh. Good job. Are you breathing? Don't forget to breathe. Breathe. Oh, I see your legs, tangled up legs. Karen, what happened? Did you freeze? I think you froze. Good, breathing, two more breaths. And then easy, release. Undo the feet, drop the feet on the ground, hands by the side, bounce the hips down. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Wiggle it around. Don't worry. Break up that calcification, stagnation. Ah. And easy. Take the right leg over the top of the thigh. No, left leg. The other leg. It's your left leg. Right? Correct, I mean? We just did left. Oh, we did? Oh, okay, good. Then take your right foot. How are you guys doing? Sorry, not to worry. It's a common problem. Arms overhead on the inhale. Back of the hands on the grass. Expanded and stretched through the rib cage. Exaggerate the inhale, exaggerate the exhale. Hi, Jane, it's the right leg. And then inhale, exhale, follow the fingertips, lift your head up, look at the fingers, thread the needle, right leg, right hand through the triangle, 
Left hand on the thigh. Rock a little bit, tuck it in, lay the head down. Stay organized. Oh, one side's gonna feel different than another. And then easy. Breathing. And then extend that left leg up to the sky. Well, now we know who's not on the email list. Rotate that foot around on the ankle. Tracing the face of the analog clock with your big toe. Full range of motion, really out there to three o'clock. Ah, interesting, isn't it? Relax and then easy. Go ahead and take both hands. <clears throat> Slide through the triangle. Wrap your elbows around your shin bone. Lower that left leg down. Take your left hand onto the heel. Lift it up and stretch the right arm forward. So you get it inside your shoulder. And then try and get the foot behind the head. <laughs> Are you breathing, legs? So serious. Hey, look at that. You can go home and show them what happened. And just jab that, aha, aha. See what happens? Aha, aha. Oh, good idea. Go, Robert, go. Hare, Hare Krishna, hail to the divine within. And then easy, release the head, undo the legs, bend the knees, bounce the hips. <coughs> bounce the hips down on the ground, really shake. And easy, wrap the arms around the knees, tuck them into your chest. Let your arms burst open to a T. Flex the feet, which means the inner knees, the ankles and the toes, the big toes are touching the inside of the big toes. Keep the knees above the waist, inhale. And exhale both knees off to the left side above your waist. Bring that top arm over and clap and look at your knees and see if the knees are pulling, if the one knee is pulling off the top. You want to stack your knees up near your waist. Keep the feet flexed, which means you're pushing through the heels. And go ahead and take that top arm, that right arm on your eyes and look away from your knees. That's it. Unwind the body. Unfold. Breathing. And if you need to, you can always go and pat your hip or rub your lower back. You can take that right arm and rub your lower back, your hip. And then easy, go ahead and roll back onto your back. Ah, realign the hips and the shoulders. You can drop the feet down and you can hug both knees into the chest again. Open up the arms to a T, anchor yourself in the earth, push through the heels, touch the inner knees together, Touch the ankle bones together and the inside of the big toes together. Keep the knees above the waist. Inhale. And exhale off to the right side. Bring that top arm over and clap. And look at your knees. See if one knee, one knee likes to pull off the stacking. So keep the knees stacked. Tuck them up to your waist. That's better. Keep the feet flexed, pushing through the heels, and then softly take that left hand onto your eyes and look away from your knees. 
You can always hold the knees or the thigh with your right hand to keep them where you want them to add a little weight to create that incredible spiral in your spine. Breathing deeply. Breathing deeply. Good job. Remember, it's your body. So areas in your body that need a little extra rub-a-dub-dub or a little spank, go right ahead. It's just so bad. You can dig your bony knuckles around in that lower back or in that hip joint. Anywhere in your body that has resistance, the tactile will help. Now, easy. Pull the belly in. Roll back onto your backs. Hug the knees into your chest and then drop the feet on the ground and let the hips rise up to the sky and articulate, roll on down. Let the hips curl the tailbone, lengthen the thighs, press on the heels and bring the chest to the chin and then one vertebra by one, roll down like a string of pearls. And then again, lift and roll down slowly. Let the hips lift to the sky and roll down slowly. Keep the feet in parallel. Don't go like ducky. And roll back down once more. Inhale and lift up. And roll back down. And easy. Keep the knees bent. Take the hands and make little fists. Lift the bottom up and slip the straight arms underneath your body. That means you roll so you get the biceps underneath and you lay your buns right on your little stacked hands. And then easy, keeping the crown of the head on the ground, reach the heels and the soles of the feet to the sky. Good. Your brick. More. Straighten the back of the knees. Good. Breathing. Keep the legs straight off the body. Relax the shoulders down. Relax your mouth. Go ahead and open up the soles of your feet to the blessings and that cosmic juice. We're on the biggest longest day the most light we're at a half moon taco moon breathe in breathe out i sent you a special email i know i just didn't read the time i guess <laughs> i saw the email <laughs> says change <laughs> ah hi reach stretch the back of your knees flatten the belly use your body good job Ten more seconds. Reach through the heels. Breathing. Good job. What's with this today? Inner knees together. Belly flat. You fire in the belly. Four. Tuck the chin just a little bit. Three. Two. One. Nice. Bend the knees. Take the hands out from underneath your bottom. Reach the legs up to the sky. Reach the arms behind your head. Clasp your skull. Elbows open. X, 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 X. Clean it out. Finish it off with an even flow of all that cosmic energy coming in through your feet. Activating the navel point. Keeping the shoulders off. Giving yourself a little extra good. Breathe. X, 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 shoulders off, shoulders up. So you work the, well, don't give up now. Here you go, <laughs> 10 more breaths. Good, one, 
Two. And easy, squeeze everything, inhale. And exhale, ah, lay everything out. Open the legs wide, turn the toes out. Arms are wide. Take a big breath and exhale, float into the earth. Float above the earth. Go ahead and let yourself just dive softly into the sweetness. Let your lips, let your brain settle in the back of the skull. Relax your belly. Relax your inner thighs and your groin. Really release and settle into the earth. Allow yourself to be open, vulnerable, receiving, powerful. Practice that art of witnessing or observing so that any thoughts and lists and unfinished stuff that comes up to you just floats on by. To self be easy and soft. That invitation to become filled with light, to become illuminated, able to see clearly from all directions. Be willing to pause so as to receive. that invitation to find that golden-like nectar, the emirate surrounding your body, becoming your ether body, that sweet honey of the honeybees. Enjoying your ether body enjoying the stillness, the sweet breath of the gods caressing your skin. The warmth of the sun, the coolness of the shade, the tickling of the grass, the connection to the earth, the openness to the heavens. We cherish this time, this time of pausing, of stillness, of ease. Easy as a hollow vessel, drawing your breath in through the nostrils, feeling how it flows inside of your cuerpo. Letting the breath draw you back into your vessel, raising the navel point, expanding the breath out to the fingers and the toes. 
Breathing a little deeper and larger, sliding the thumbs across the fingertips. Reconnecting that nervous system. Wiggling the toes and the fingers, inhaling and exhaling, bringing your hands to the heart, gathering it all in, sealing it with love, joy and abundance, and easy, that gratitude to spreads to everything. Lace your fingers, twine your fingers, roll your arms up and overhead. Pressing the palms away from your crown, stretching the arms all the way onto the grass. Take each leg straight and bring it together and point your toes and push your heels and flutter your eyelashes, move your mouth. Just so happy to be alive. Exhale, tuck the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug and roll off to any side that you wish. Easy, and then press up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Soften the eyelids and acknowledge your rootedness, your seatedness, and your earthboundedness. And then from your wing bones out through your fingernails, reach long, large, wide, inhale, look up. Press the hands together, glue the baby finger and thumbs, make your chalice your cup and humbly receive as you slide down your heart line, nestling your thumbs at your breastplate, exhaling the fingertips together and bowing the head towards the heart. And together and again and again and again, we find ourselves in this ancient and sacred greeting. We bow, we honor, we welcome that glowing incandescent sparkly great spirit within ourselves and others. We know the sameness of our breath, the sameness of our blood. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. Thank you so much for showing up today, whether it was the first class or the second class, namaste. Thank you so much online. Thank you so much everyone for being part of this urban yoga family, namaste. Happy solstice. Happy solstice, everybody. Happy solstice. Thank you guys. No.